It was just shy of four months ago, supporters of the Crown Act, myself included, gathered in a small chamber in Austin to witness Governor Greg Abbott sign House Bill 567 into law. It's a bill that many hope would outlaw hair discrimination across Texas, preventing children from in-school suspension and a host of other punishments simply for wearing their natural hair. Now, while I was one of many who amplified this legislation, there is one Texas woman who made it her mission to protect our crowns. For the last three years, her crown has become her life's work. What a confidence booster that you can walk in a place on a studio set, yeah. in a classroom, yeah. in a boardroom, and to be unapologetic. Year after year, Texas Representative Retta Bowers laying out the Crown Act bill. Crown stands for creating an open and respectful world for natural hair. Legislation that would outlaw discrimination in Texas based on hairstyle and hair texture historically associated with race. You can go back to the 87th legislative session when we didn't have as much luck and we saw it sit for day and week and month on end. The Garland rep says House Bill 567 lays the foundation and protections for people of color. While the bill received bipartisan support becoming law September 1 in Texas, it doesn't come without what some are calling loopholes, evident by what one family says is a recent case of hair discrimination in a Texas school district. As long as the hair is not below the lobes, below the uh, eyelids, hiding the eyes, on the nape of the neck, at the collar, he's fine. Images of 17-year-old Daryl, a junior at Barbers Hill High School, just outside of Houston, pictured here with his hair pinned up. His mom says he has spent most of the school year on in-school suspension because of his hair. Activists accuse the school of violating the Crown Act. It does not protect color change on hair. It touches on length but it's, it's strongly about protective styles. That's what we need to, to know, that it, it's not about length and it's, it's not about color of hair. The law does, however, say school dress codes cannot discriminate against protective hairstyles. That includes braids and locks, which are historically associated with race. It is a proud moment that with the Republican-led legislature that we can pass this bill in the state of Texas. and. I am so proud looking at you because I know that it took all of us blood, sweat and tears and to not stop talking about yes. it. <laughs> Look, I receive emails often about what the Crown Act covers and what it does not. If you'd like to read what the language of this bill specifically says, I'm going to share that link uh, with this story later this morning at WFAA.com.